Hey student nurses! For today's video, we will be demonstrating to you how to perform a proper post-mortem care. Before we begin, what is post-mortem care? Basically, post-mortem care refers to the physical care of the patient's body who has recently expired. This can be performed in a home care facility or in the hospital. Post-mortem care has to be done in order to prepare the body for viewing by the family, to prevent discoloration or deformity of the patient's body, and to prepare the body for transfer to the mortuary. Make sure that you should also be aware of the cultural, religious, and age-related considerations when delivering post-mortem care. Now let's get started. First thing you want to do is to check the chart for the physician certification of the death of the patient. Upon doing so, always take note that post-mortem care must not be performed until the patient has been pronounced dead by the doctor. So always verify first before performing the procedure. Second is to prepare the necessary materials. This is to save time and allows you to work efficiently by eliminating the need to go to the supply room for items you have overlooked. Next is to ask for permission and explain to the significant others that you are going to perform the postmortem care. This is to reduce the significant others or the family members' anxiety and of course to enhance their cooperation. Then ask the family if they wish to remain inside the room during the procedure. This is to ensure that they are made aware of how the procedure is done or if they want to assist with the care of the body. Next step, draw the curtains to provide privacy. This is to protect patient's integrity and to show respect to the family and the deceased. Next, pour lukewarm water into the basin. This is to prepare the bed bath of the deceased. Wash his hands and puts on clean gloves. Even though the patient is already dead, the nurse still needs to follow universal precautions. Next, removes jewelry or any personal items of the patient and give them to the significant others. This is for legal purposes and so that the nurse will not be charged of stealing. Closes the patient's eyes, puts on dentures if any, then closes the patient's mouth. Closing the eyes of the deceased is a form of showing respect and eternal rest. Then, removes all equipment, tubes, supplies, and dirty linens according to the hospital protocol. The nurse needs to remove anything to prepare the patient for the funeral. Next, removes patient's clothes carefully as to not expose any body part. Even though the patient is dead, the nurse still needs to provide respect and privacy. Perform bed bath on the patient. This is done in order to prevent any discoloration. Put cotton balls on patient's closed eyes, in the nares, and in the outer ear. Then secure each with a tape lengthwise so that secretions in the eyes, nose, and ears will be drained in the cotton. Secure the patient's jaw with a cravat. This is done because after 15 to 20 minutes, the patient's jaw will open and stiffen. Put on the diaper, underwear, and patient's clothes. In order to drain secretions in the diaper, and put on clothes for decency and sign of respect. Give the family option to view or not to view patient and accompany them as they do so. Compassionate care provides family members with a meaningful experience during the early phase of grief. Encourage the family to say goodbye. This is to give them time to say goodbye to their loved one and allow some time for grieving process. Ask if they would like to be left alone. This is to provide privacy. Applies name tags on the hand and foot. Labeling ensures proper identification of the body. Covers and secures the patient with the shroud. Secure the shroud with safety pins. 
The shroud protects against injury to the skin, avoids exposure of the body, provides a barrier against potentially contaminated body fluids. Secure another name tag on the shroud. This is to ensure proper identification of the patient prior to transportation to the morgue. Transports patient to the morgue for embalming or autopsy. Document the procedure and wash hands. Data from the documentation provides information about the patient's characteristics and care outcomes. And that's it. I hope you learned from our presentation about the post-mortem care. Bye!